So you're hearing these days a lot of uh, left-wing pundits say, well, Obamacare is a success. Why? Because it hasn't collapsed yet. Now, think about that for a minute. I understand in October when the website was crashing, I can understand why a lot of people who support the law and support the president are, are breathing a sigh of relief. But in the real world, we don't measure the success of a law by the fact that it hasn't collapsed. First of all, Obamacare is not perfect. Let's concede that. Second of all, it's working. Let's concede that. Uh, over 9 million Americans have health insurance who would not have had it uh, without Obamacare. But what's happened since the law's been enacted? Chris Conover of Duke University, using the Obama administration's own data, calculated that the average family's share of national health spending has actually increased by about $828 a year, over and above what we would have spent if Obamacare had never passed. It is a private sector bill. It's private insurance companies that are doing the insurance. This is not some socialist scheme as the right wing is always talking about. What it's gonna ha what's going to happen as a result of that is the private sector is finally going to be given the tools to control costs. In Obamacare, there's something called an ACO. You're going to have big uh, hospitals that are delivering health care. And insurance companies and payers, companies, are going to go to them and say, we're going to pay you by the patient, not by the procedure anymore. Once that happens, we're going to have a system where wellness matters, where people are uh, paid to keep you healthy instead of waiting until you get sick. And we're also going to have a system which doesn't require, it uh, doesn't require cost, huge cost increases every year. Now, there is one group of people uh, who are doing well under Obamacare, and that's health insurance executives. The stock prices of companies like United Health and Aetna and Humana, these multi billion dollar health insurance companies, they've more than tripled, in some cases quadrupled, over the last five years. So they're getting big bonuses. And there are, of course, some people who are the benefits of the massive subsidies in the law. So this is not a perfect system. There have been many mistakes along the way, the most notorious of which is the computer rollout. But most tech rollouts have uh, problems, uh, whether it's the tax department or insurance companies or medical records or this one. The fact of the matter is we're better off now than we were when Obamacare was enacted, and we're going to be better off three years from now uh, than we are today.